This is Paris Island. It is here where male recruits who live east of the Mississippi River and all female recruits are transformed into Marines. Paris Island has a storied military history dating back to 1562, when a French expedition led by Jean Ribot was the first European group to attempt to colonize Paris Island. The French expedition built an outpost named Charlesfort, and Ribot left a small garrison as he returned to France for colonists and supplies. After the garrison mutinied in April of 1563, the outpost was abandoned. In 1566, the Spanish founded the settlement of Santa Elena on the island, which was the new capital of the Spanish colony of La Florida, shifting the Spanish colonization north from St. Augustine. The Spanish abandoned Santa Elena in 1587. Paris Island became home to British plantations after being purchased by Colonel Alexander Paris, treasurer of the South Carolina colony in 1715. During and after the Civil War, the island became home to freed slaves and was a site of freedmen's schools taught by abolitionists such as Francis Gage and Clara Barton. Union forces captured Port Royal Sound in 1861, and Paris Island became a coaling station for the Navy. This function was taken up again after the war, thanks in large part to the former slave turned congressman Robert Smalls who fought for the creation of a new federal military installation on the island. Marines were first stationed on Paris Island in 1891 in the form of a small security detachment headed by First Sergeant Richard Donovan. His unit was attached to the naval station, Port Royal, the forerunner of Paris Island. Donovan's unit was highly commended for preserving life and property during hurricanes and tidal waves that swept over the island in 1891 and 1893. Military buildings and homes constructed between 1891 and World War I formed the nucleus of the Paris Island Historic District. At the district center are the commanding general's home, the 19th century wooden dry dock, and a turn of the century gazebo, all of which are on the National Register of Historic Places. On November 1st, 1915, Paris Island was officially designated a Marine Corps recruit depot, and training was continued from then on. The first Marines trained on Paris Island saw a battle in the trenches of France during World War I. More than 46,000 Marines were trained for duty in World War I. During the fateful December of 1941, 5,272 recruits arrived on Paris Island with 9,206 arriving the following month, making it necessary to add the 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th recruit training battalions. As the war influx continued, five battalions were sent to New River, North Carolina to train, and the depot expanded to 13 battalions. From 1941 through 1945, the Marines trained over 200,000 recruits here, and at the time of the Japanese surrender, the depot contained more than 20,000 recruits. In 1946, Marine Corps leaders reorganized Paris Island and decided to give it a designation that would reflect its primary mission, the training of Marine Corps recruits. Thus, the world-famous Marine Corps Recruit Depot, Paris Island, South Carolina, was born. About a year after the passing of the Women's Armed Services Integration Act on February 15, 1949, the Marines activated a separate command for the sole purpose of training female recruits. Later, this command was designated the 4th Recruit Training Battalion, and it now serves as the only battalion in the Corps for training female recruits. Currently, the Marines train about 19,000 recruits at Paris Island each year. Today, the primary mission of Paris Island continues to be the producing of highly disciplined, basically trained Marines.